Right. First question I'll take from uh, Ravi Bhatnagar from Gurgaon, India. And he is asking that political systems itself provide scope for various alternatives. What is new in Swaraj Abhyan's alternative? What uh, we propose has to be prerequisite of any political dispension. What is new we expect from Swaraj Abhyan? See, as uh, I said, that effort to realize people's power, efforts to control state and governmental systems from the perspective of the people is not new. In fact, modern politics and modern democracy emerged to realize these things. But in practice, we find that systems are often anti-people. And for that, we have to launch struggles, campaigns, and movements. And that movements can take multiple forms. Campaigns can take multiple forms, including that of parties and election. Obviously, in India, with a formal democratic system, where by and large governments can be changed through election, the scope is there. But to realize that scope, we need to constantly campaign, organize, politicize the masses. And it is not that organizations are organizing masses. There is self-movement, self-organization of the masses also. Masses are also on the move. And sometimes masses create movements and masses create party. Uh, in the recent experience, what we have found that it was people's initiative, citizen activism, that is dictating alternative politics. And Swaraj Abhyan will like to be part of that ferment, the ferment that is sweeping India in recent years.